In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the best Madden plays in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become better Madden players. And if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you right now to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, like I said, I'm talking to you a little bit about what I believe to be is one of the best passing plays uh, in the entire game, and that is the clear out SE out. Now this comes to us specifically from the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook out of the gun bunch. If you don't know already, I have an entire uh, offensive guide on the gun bunch. You can add this play to your arsenal. Um, there's a little bit of a debate over whether the New England bunch or the, uh, the New York Jets bunch or the Seattle bunch is better. Personally, I prefer um, this the uh, New York Jets bunch, and that's what I wrote my guide on. But this specific play from Clear Out SEO is one of the best passing plays in Madden 21, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it with you in this video. Now, uh, really quickly, for those of you that don't know, my, my name is Cody. Our channel is all about helping people become better at this game. If you want to get better, I would encourage you uh, to click that subscribe button down below. Now, clear out SE out. We're going to talk about this. And this play is very unique for several different reasons. Um, it's actually very, very effective in MUT for a lot of different reasons. But first and foremost, I want to talk to you about how this does against cover three. So we're going to talk about just kind of a standard Mike Blitz three. And all we're going to do is just snap the ball. We're not going to make any adjustments whatsoever. And I just want you to watch what happens with the circle receiver. You're going to see that it's going to be an automatic one play touchdown against cover three every single time. So if they run Mike Blitz three, if you've been playing mutt like I have, you've probably experienced a lot of Mike Blitz three. Pretty much everyone that I play is running some version of this defense, um, and it is a great defense, but if they run it with this specific adjustments right here where they just have like the standard cover three, um, you, you'll see this all over the Madden community right now. You know, people are just running cover three, cover three, cover three. What I like about this is this is an easy way for you to be able to get over the top. Uh, right there, I threw it just a little bit too early. That's the biggest reason why that happened. Let me show you that one more time. I'll show you the same exact play. Um, just because I want you to see that this is a very consistent cover three bomb. Um, if you want to, there is you know, some things you can do to make this a little bit more effective. Uh, for example, you can smart route the X receiver. Um, you could take the R1 receiver and just put him on a simple little uh, out route or something like this right here. You could even put him on a streak if you wanted to, but I actually like to put him on just a simple little out route. But anyways, if you watch this against cover three, you're gonna see that you know, normally he's gonna glitch out uh, he didn't own that one for some reason, so I might need to I might need to put my guy on a little flat route. Let me do that real quick, um, just so that you can see. Again, this is a fairly consistent cover three beater. Um, Jair Alexander is in the zone though, so that might be the, the issue. But if you do this simple little flat flat route right there to the uh, R one, uh, and that's more of what we're looking at. As you see right there, it completely glitches out over the top. Um, the safety is actually hanging with him pretty pretty well on that, and that's probably because we're not putting. Um, we're not putting a streak on the field, but again, what you're really waiting for is you're waiting for that R1 receiver to kind of just completely freak out, uh, or not freak out, but that, that corner on the right side, that's more of what we're looking for right there, exactly. And that's kind of what you're gonna get consistently against the cover three. So the beauty is that it beats cover three, but the beauty of this specific route, and the reason why um, this play is actually super, super uh, effective is because of some of the things that it can do against Tampa two. So uh, Tampa two, for example, I think Tampa two is one of the most underrated defenses in the Madden uh, community right now. And what you're gonna see with how this plays out against Tampa two is basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait and you can see here that I can just simply pass it this to the right and I can kind of swerve catch it with the circle receiver. Another thing that you can do though, and this is what makes this really special, I think, as far as it pertains against cover two, it's one of the only routes in the game that you can do this with, where you can basically motion snap this against a cover two, which is gonna put the R1 on a little flat, and you're gonna see that you're gonna get this right here. You see how he kind of fades away from that? That's different than normal. So if you, if I, for example, if I put, um, if, I, if I put him on just like a simple little uh, fade route and try to do the same thing, you're gonna see that I'm gonna struggle to uh, get what I need. So you're gonna see here that you see this out. I try to pass it that to the right. See how it kind of glitches out, kind of freezes on me, or the safety will come over and make a play on that. The beauty of having this specific formation, uh, or I apologize, this specific route, because you can motion snap it, this is what makes it super powerful. So again, this is just Tampa 2, because he fades to the outside just like that, so you can outside pass lead it and get a nice little one play touchdown against the cover two defense. Very easy and very simple. Now, 
Um, another route that I wanted to hit on is this route to the tight end. I think this route is super underrated. Uh, this is a really, really good route to the tight end. Oftentimes, what it's going to do is it's going to pull their user. But if you did something like this right here, this is a really good way to run this play. But basically, if you just watch this X receiver, you're going to see that he's going to essentially run almost like a little deep post, almost kind of similar to the concept from the trips tight end with the curl flat concept where you've got that smart, because I've smart routed him, um, he's going at a little bit lower of a depth, and that's what's making it really work well for me. So let me show you that one more time. So again, I'm just going to smart route the tight end just like this. I might put the running back on an option route. You know, I might do this kind of combination right here. But what you're going to see is that this tight end is going to get over the top of most zone drops just right over there. Nice little easy laser. Um, this is also a very consistent read against man coverage. So if you're if you're getting a lot of man coverage, this is something that you can go to, this little smart route and route to the tight end. Look at how this absolutely torches uh, man to man coverage. Wesley actually was one of the first people in the community that was running this. I think Henry was probably running this earlier on in the year as well. Um, people have kind of gone away from this concept, but I'm not sure why, because this is still um, really, really effective. These stock fades are just so underrated. They're really good against like, um, specifically they're really good against cover zero or against match coverage. So uh, for example, if they went cover zero, they tried to blitz crib on you and they you know, kind of did that. The beauty of these stock fades is when you motion these out, they just glitch out the man coverage as you can see right here. And the beauty of this uh, concept is that you have this fade route on both sides of the field. So for example, uh, let's say that you're getting a lot of Tampa two. If I were to flip this play, and you see here that the circle receiver is going to run this this uh, this little fade, this is going to be a really easy little read, just an outside pass, like very simple, easy read against the cover two. So that's another little easy little trick that you can do um, to deal with the cover two style defense. Now let's talk briefly about the cover four. Uh, the cover four is a little bit different in terms of how it plays, but I do want to just talk a little bit about the circle receiver. So you're going to see here um, that you're going to get this little animation right here against cover four. This is what's really cool about this. Because it's a bunch formation and because of where he's at on the field, you get this really, really good and effective um, you know, little, little window to throw this. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for him to get kind of over the top here. And then you're gonna see that it's gonna, if he's even, he's leaving. And this is just an absolute laser. Um, let me show you this one more time, but let, let me show you an instant replay really quick what happens. And then we'll show you the route in real time. But if you just take a look at this, this is super powerful. So it, let's just watch how this works. But basically what's gonna happen is, you're gonna see that right there, that animation right there. You see how the outside corner doesn't guard him? This is a glitch within the cover four defense. And so what that's gonna mean is because he fades to the outside so much, it's going to allow you a lot of uh, opportunity to be able to throw this. So if they run cover four on you, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna wait till he's past that guy, and then you're gonna pass it this all the way over to the right side. Now, um, as you can see here, you wanna wait a little bit longer there. You wanna wait till he's even. Um, there's a phrase that's really you know popular that says, you know, if he's even, he's leaving. That's kind of what we're wanting to wait on. I'm gonna show you one other adjustment to this route, but you just really, gosh dang it, uh, good old practice mode with the instant pressure. Um, you really just wanna wait on this, but this is a nice little cover four beater. So you're able to really beat pretty much every coverage in the game with this one route. You see right here, just pass this all the way over the right you really want to get it out there but that's exactly what we're looking for it's a one play touchdown against the cover four uh, defense just very very simple now we're going to shift to match coverage in just a moment but i want to show you one other route um, that it's very pop, uh, possible that you will see and that is when they deep half their outside corner so if they deep half um, their outside corner what you're going to see here is that this little uh, fade route unfortunately you see that he's going to be able to run with him pretty much stride for stride and take it away However, the thing that you have going for you with this route is the fact that um, is the fact that it is stock fade to the outside receiver, and what that means is you can basically motion motion snap it. So we could do something like this right here, just a little motion snap, and what you'll see is you can basically pass this to the right side, and you've got a chance. Now you might need to get him out there a little bit more, but it's really a little bit of a glitchy motion snap that you can do with this route to get it open against this uh, this coverage. So one thing I'll do is I'll probably smart route the X receiver, streak the R1 receiver, and then I might you know take the running back and put him on a little wheel route. 
uh, when I do this, what you're going to see is that that deep half is going to, by very nature of the deep half, do that, which is going to allow us to basically glitch him out over the top. Clear out SE out, I think, is one of the most underrated plays, and I'm actually going to be doing a um, a video on our gun bunch guide. So it's going to be a, it, I'm going to release this into the playlist for you guys. Those of you that have gotten the the Jets ebook, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of an update and I'm going to be talking a little bit about this play and why this play is so powerful because what it does is it really does uh, put your opponent in a bind because if they try to run a deep half all the time on you, you have this dot right here, outside pass lead, which you have a shot at. You're not always going to hit it. A lot of it is about the timing. You probably want to get the guy to the numbers, to be honest. But if you can hit this route, this makes this offense borderline unstoppable. I wish you could get a playbook that had both the play Jets dig and the play clear out SE out. Uh, obviously, you could do that if you were in like a custom. But again, if you motion, if you get him out here far enough, you're going to see that that deep half is going to go straight up to the streak. And it's going to basically leave this little window here for the circle receiver. Now, Jair Alexander does have deep out zone KO, uh, which is helping him a little bit on this play. But you're seeing that we actually have... Um, we actually have a little bit of a window on this motion snap. Again, you want to get him like maybe all the way out to the numbers here, but you'll see hard right pass lead. Click on, you want to really swerve catch it and try to catch that on the side of the line. But like I said, we're going to update the ebook with a full version of this. Last thing I want to show you on this is how this does against match coverage. I think this might be, uh, this literally might be the best passing play in Madden 21. Um, and if you add, start adding this to the arsenal of the bunch guide, you're going to find a lot of success with this. Seattle might just be a little bit better than the Jets um, just before this one play. For how powerful this one play is, um, the way that you beat cover three this year is a little bit different than the way that you beat it last year. And so it's making this concept super glitchy. So uh, really quickly, I just want to show you cover four quarters. You're going to see that all you have to do is snap the ball. You literally, that's all you have to do. And as you can see right here, you're going to kill cover four quarters. You don't have to make any adjustment whatsoever and you're going to beat it. One adjustment that you can make um, is that you can do this. You could shrink the R1 receiver. So you could basically do you know, something like this right here. And if you watch how this works, um, they actually will defend this a little bit better. You still can hit this, you still can hit that, that, that route to circle as long as you lob it over the top. There's some things that, you know, again, that people will do. So for example, one of the popular uh, techniques to defend gun bunch is to put a deep path over on that side. Well, the beauty of this is if you smart route the tight end, you put the running back on the option route, you do all this right here, what's gonna happen is that deep half is gonna get ran off and then you're gonna have this basically inside pass lead to Devontae Adams that you can get. Unfortunately, I, I threw it probably a little bit too early. Let me show you that one more time. But this is a really, really good option for um, specifically things like, you know, uh, match defense. This is, this is a match defense absolute killer. When I was building my match defense, this was probably the play that was the hardest to consistently guard. Uh, but again, you're gonna see right here that, you know, they actually did a pretty good job right there. I think it's because I put a vertical hook on that on that um, that linebacker. Let me show you that without the vertical hook. So I just want to spy off these guys, and I just want you to see, you know, kind of how this plays whenever they put that that safety on the bunch side. This is a very popular adjustment to put that safety on the bunch bunch side into a deep half. But when you use these adjustments, you should see that this R1 receiver should be open for an inside pass lead, kind of right in there. Um, not able to complete it, for, unfortunately, but as you can see, you can have that window. So the beauty of this, this play is it really does start to open up a lot of possibilities for your offense. There's a lot of different things that this specific play will open up if you can read it properly. Um, this circle receiver is, is super, it's just a super glitchy route, and he's gonna draw a lot of attention that's then gonna open up, you know, obviously room for your other routes on the field. So, you know, this beats, beats pretty much every coverage uh, for a one play touchdown. Like I said, if they run cover four, um, show two, you don't have to do anything. You literally just call the play, and what you'll see is that this circle receiver typically will get over the top of it. Um, Right there, Jair Alexander actually played that pretty well. Let me show you one more. Let me show you one more on this. But this is one of those plays that, like, I think, you know, it's not, it's, it's not like perfect, um, but because it doesn't have like a ton of quick reads, it's more of a, a, a glitchy streak play. But as you can see right here, you know, it just kills everything. I mean, it kills cover four, kills cover two, kills cover three. Um, I, what I really like about this play is. If you notice that your opponent is deep halfing a lot, 
I just think it's absolutely incredible that you could call this play right here. And then, like I said, you just motion this guy all the way out, kind of get him to delay himself, just like that right there. But what you'll see is you know, now you're going to put yourself in a position where you have a shot. I mean, right there, that might not have been the best example, but you, you can hit this route against against the, uh, oh gosh, against the deep half adjustment. And the deep half adjustment is one of the most bomb-proof, like, one of the most bomb-proof things that, that they can, the defense could possibly do. But as you can see here, you see, not only do you have that, you also have this route to the tight end that's like super uh, deep and super effective as well. So anyways, I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna get my entire uh, bunch offensive guide, we actually are gonna be updating that with this specific play and talking about it. You can get that in the description of this video for just $15. I wanna thank you for watching. And uh, again, if you wanna get the entire offensive guide from the gun bunch, you can get that in the description.